All right, so I got enough as to not have to come back for a long time. Got a lot of pieces. I cut them all down to eight feet long. And with that size there and that many, I can make a few nice trellises because I'm going to be chopping those into like each one of them into at least two or four uh, slices in between one. So it's going to be a lot of bamboo there. Um, so let's get this loaded up and get it back to the house. Hey guys, what's up? This is the Bo Ham. As stated a few days ago when I was gathering that bamboo that I was going to be building a trellis. And I'm going to be building a trellis because I'm going to be growing melons over here. Cantaloupes, uh, two or three different types of cantaloupe. I'm going to be growing in this section over here. And I want to extend uh, what I already have up there. I would. What I originally had up there was cattle panel on that, on that side. And that's, you know, of course going to stay there. But I want to extend it, right? But I don't want to waste any more moolah, right? So I'm going to go ahead and do this on the free. I gathered all that um, uh, bamboo, and I'm going to slice that bamboo up, and I'm going to build a trellis that's like the same thing as a cattle panel, about eight inch, eight inch gaps in between. And I'm also going to build, and when I'm building the trellis, I'm also going to build the trellis going upward, and I'm going to do the uh, trellis that way as well, so that way when the cantaloupes are growing, they can crawl up the trellis until they get to the top and then they can gather up all up on the top and it's gonna be looking sweet right having melons just hanging down there you're walking by and gathering your cantaloupes when they're ready so god willing i will have that loaded up on the top there with cantaloupes this uh this summer okay so let's get to it let's get uh building this uh trellis okay let's 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 get moving all right the first thing we're gonna do is right what i did it was i i tapped in from this um this side of this uh trellis support over to the to the tree and i um screwed into the tree or well, hammered some nails into the tree there to uh give me some support on that side there so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just uh, put some of these bamboos right across the top here because um, we need to have this supported up here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put four of them going across. Well, I already have the two that are on the, on the ends, right? Then I'm going to put two in the middle there to give it a little strength there. So, Just like that, all right? And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna um, tie those off with some wire. I'll be just, I'm just going to uh, uh, softly put those on there. Then I'm going to come back with my pliers and I'm going to tighten it up real nice and tight.
All right, so that's how you split bamboo. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead. Wow, this thing is so sharp. It just touched me and took some meat off my 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 um top of my finger. All right, um, I'm gonna go ahead and and slice this again because I want to get. I, I, this is thick enough that I can get four straps, so it'll be going across the top, and they won't be as thick, right? That way, when the um, when the tendrils from the cantaloupe start producing, they don't have to like be stretching so far to get around the um, you know the the bamboo going across. All right, so. That's um All right, so that's how it is. I might even go, I might even go again. Well, let's see. Anyway, let me go and get a Band-Aid because I done uh, took some meat off my fingers. This thing is very, very sharp. I never want to hear you all tell me that I won't bleed for you all. Ever. This thing here, whew, forget about it. So I went ahead and uh, sliced up quite a few of them and uh, got this all nice and tight up here. So we're gonna go ahead and start putting some of these across the top and um, also, one thing on here, what you need to do to these here, because inside, inside the bamboo, you know, they have these cells there. So, um, you know, it, 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 I guess it makes the bamboo stronger inside, but you need to, um, when you're doing these here, you need to like knock those off because if not, they're going to, um, you know, make the thing all wavy and whatnot. All right, I'm gonna lay these across the top, then I'm gonna get the, um, actually, let me um, throw the camera up there and see how it looks. All right, so I got all these going across there. Now I'm gonna get some going this way here to make that, you know, that panel shape look. I might have to dice up a few more, but uh, yeah. And then after I get them all up there like that, then I'm gonna tighten them up with some wire and then we'll work on the frame going up.
All right, guys, as you can see, it's all framed off up there. All I need to do is uh, get some wire to it, get them all tightened up up there so they don't move around. So I'll do that. And then, you know, we'll continue on with this. Um, you know, that tiring it off with the wires is very time consuming. And um, nobody wants to watch me do that for a long time. All right, guys, it's getting a little dark, so we're gonna um, leave it off right here and we'll continue on with this tomorrow morning. I uh, just got a little bit to go. Just put another one up here and then run down the ones on the bottom and then tighten everything up and we'll be good to go. See you tomorrow morning. Hey guys, good morning. We're back at it. It won't be long now. I'll wrap this up real quick now. Um, I have the top all zip tied in. I'll show you what it looks like in a, in a minute. I already started putting a few of the straps going across here. That's so that the trellis will run up and connect up to the top so that the melons can um, do their thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just gotta cut this one last one here and um, Now, what I'm doing here is I'm scraping off the the middle uh, cell from each one there because if not, you're gonna have, uh, it's gonna be all wavy. So you wanna take those off so these will, you know, lay up against the thing nice and flat.
All right. All right. Here's where zip ties come in handy. <laughs> So you see how it's coming? We'll clip those off soon as I finish here, but right now we'll leave them on there. All right, guys, so the only way to get these things on really tight, right, is to zip tie them. You can put all the screws you want on them, you want, it's not the same as you zip tying them. Or you could take um, wire and wire them, but that just takes way too long. So if you got a lot of zip ties, just zip, zip tie all the joints and it'll be nice and tight. Okay? Nice and tight, this ain't going nowhere all the way up to the top, all zip tied throughout. And um, she's a wrap, she's ready to, She's ready for um, any type of weight plant fruit that I throw on there, it'll hold it up. All right guys, so we're all wrapped up with this trellis here. If you enjoyed the video, give me a big thumbs up. If you wanna rock with the bull and you wanna see what the bull's up to all the time, uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, so that you can see how the, the bull does his thing here in this garden. Also, uh, you know, when things are slow, Uncle Pappy will keep you entertained. Uh, uh, the bull's brother, Uncle Pappy. So subscribe to the channel. All right, all the fun's over. I'm off to my walk. Got to go get my exercise on. All right, guys, you all take care. Much love. God bless.